Hello everybody, you know what time it is, you know who it is, and we are here. <laughs> With Izana. <laughs> yeah, so, before we actually get into everything that's gonna go on today, uh, I realized that on the last part I made a huge mistake. A huge mistake. So I needed to increase the level of the hot spring building into my castle in order to get Izana to show up here. Now, my mistake was in that I didn't realize you technically have to complete a battle before he shows up. So what I ended up doing was going back to chapter 22, uh, building the hot spring up to level 3, and then beating that chapter again. <laughs> so I can have him right here, because I really do need him today. Like, I'm, I'm so sure that I do. I know how I'm going to kill the boss, and I'm going to need that extra little bit of magic that uh, your boy Izana brings along with him. I actually don't remember what he uh, sounds like at all, <laughs> to be honest, but... So yeah, he comes along, he says a bunch of crap, and then he joins your group, like so. And you know, it's actually a little bit interesting, because somebody had... I was having a bit of a discussion with somebody recently, right? And they had, uh... They said Izana was, like, bottom three, and I didn't really remember what it is that he does. <laughs> until, uh... Until today, obviously. But no, no way. No way is Izana bottom three. I definitely need him. This rally magic alone. Like, that's eight damage for Leo. Look at that. Plus four magic for one turn. That is eight damage for Leo. Eight damage for Elise. No way. How could this guy be bottom three? C rank staff, B ranks and domes? No, no way. No way. Uh, there also is another character that has very similar join conditions to Izana. Except you need to build like a Ballista or a Fire Orb or something of that nature up to level 3. Uh, but I, <laughs> I was actually aware of that one. And I've been intentionally holding off on getting them because they do scale to your join chapters. So you can see that Izana has a little bit of a uh, tome rank, a little bit of staff rank. If I were to recruit him next chapter, for example, he might gain two levels and then some tome and staff rank, etc., etc., a few more stats, that sort of thing. So I am actually holding out on the other unit that you recruit this way on purpose. <laughs> so that one was planned. This one was not. Anyhow, you guys actually did tell me a few cool things about that last map that I had no idea about. Uh, well, I, I guess this one isn't necessarily to do with the map, but apparently, uh, the last video did go up on Sakura's birthday, so happy birthday to Sakura, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever actually brought this up or not, but every single character in this game does have a birthday associated with them, and I, I think we were so, so close to getting, like, Laszlo's or something like that on camera, but I, I think I was, like, off by a day or something like that. But yeah, everybody does have a birthday. And uh, when you talk to them on their birthday, there's like little fireworks and confetti and streamers and all that stuff. <laughs> it's a pretty funny little detail. It doesn't actually do anything in like terms of gameplay or anything. I don't think maybe they get like a like a stat boost on their birthday. I can't remember honestly. It's been a while since I caught that, but yeah, that's just something little. That's just like a neat little detail that they bothered to include, and I I can appreciate stupid little stuff like that honestly. Again, it doesn't really do anything for the gameplay itself, but it's funny if nothing else. Uh, and also, apparently, Hana and Tsubaki, okay, so they apparently have some very, very, uh, creative, I guess, or a unique AI, and I, I didn't really realize this, but I, I went back to mess around with it a little bit, and yeah, it's actually true. Uh, if you, th the most interesting one to me was that if you kill, basically, all of Hana's units, like, like her starting squad, basically, if you take them out, she goes apeshit, man, <laughs> she comes right for your neck. And I thought that was pretty cool. I never would have, uh, I never really, really realized that. Because I'm not entirely sure how you would do that normally, you know, because just by the way the map is set up and all that. But yeah, that was a cool detail. And I also uh, did actually manage to catch this one. But Tsubaki is a prick, <laughs> as uh, you might expect. And he really only comes after you if he can kill you. Uh, so he, he won't move unless he can deal the finishing blow. And if you want to see this one for yourself, uh, well, for one, you can see what I did, right? I tried to draw Tsubaki to the south, and that didn't work out at all. But if you get into his range while uh, hugging the northern wall so that the mages can attack you as well, he will attack you. Like, he'll come straight for your throat, dude. <laughs> so that's really cool. I like little things like that, and it gives each commander their own little personality to it. So that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I can appreciate the details for sure. And that said, for things on my end, I am going to do my very best to balance this video way better. Somebody actually did bring it to my attention that it sounded pretty bad, and I, I agree, even if, 
Well, I, I don't know. Maybe they just think I sound like friggin' uh, Gilbert Godfrey or something on a bad day. I don't know, but even I had noticed that uh, the balancing was really bad. It, it really was, and I'm I'm not gonna front about that. It was terrible. If you <laughs> you can even watch yourself, like go to any point where I get into a battle or something like that, and the end game music totally drowns me out, which is ironic actually. But yes, I, I I'm not gonna bore you guys with the details on that honestly, but I think that. I have made the adjustments, hopefully, to get it back to what it was, at least, because I, I wasn't happy with it myself, to be honest. That, that said, though, guys, I, I cannot stress enough how important language actually is when you're when you're giving feedback to somebody that you don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I don't want to sound like I'm jumping down this person's throat, because I'm, I'm really not. I know their heart was in the right place. I really do. I... <sighs> But it, it's still so important if I don't know you and it's just text, I don't have body language, I don't have voice tonality. And this is me with like 4,000 subs. Imagine this being somebody with like 50,000 subs trying to determine this sort of thing. And if you don't believe me, let me... Okay, you know what? Pull up a chair, cop a squat. It's time for story time, I think. Just to show this person no hard feelings. I Again, I know their heart was in the right place when they brought this up. I really do. But it is so important to consider how what you say could be interpreted. And that's why we're going to talk about how I, Deltray, blew myself away in high school. So, here we go. Imagine, if you will, it is once again the year 2009. So, I go out with some friends, right? It's myself, a friend, his girlfriend, one of her friends. We go see a movie. I, I really don't even remember what the movie was. That's not the point of this story. <laughs> oh my god. So at the end of the movie, right, I'm feeling I'm feeling bold. I'm feeling bold, man. I felt like this girl and I had hit it off pretty well, so I'm feeling like I'm feeling bold. <laughs> so I ask her out, right? Well, it turns out she had a boyfriend. Okay, no big deal, obviously. Not really life-changing. We just met, so it's not really a big deal. And I, I kinda wanna make that clear. Now, before I tell you what I actually said. <laughs> Let me tell you what I thought I said first. <laughs> so in my head, this is what I said. I said, okay, you know what? That's fine. No worries. I'm not upset. There's no reason to, you know, don't worry about it. I understand completely. But I still think we got along pretty well. You seem pretty cool. Uh, let's stay in touch. That's basically the gist of what I thought I was about to say. Okay. What I ended up saying instead <laughs> was, hey, no worries. It's really no surprise a girl like you, and then it doesn't really matter what I said after that, does it? <laughs> Not at all. Because, okay, in my mind, right, I'm sure everybody kind of knows what I'm talking about to some extent, but it really wasn't a surprise that she did have a boyfriend in this case. You ever see somebody who's just, like, attractive, and you just decide on the spot that it would be no surprise at all to you if they were taken? Well, it was kind of like that, I guess, but that's not, that's not really what I said, now is it? <laughs> what I said was, a girl like you. Again, in my head, I meant witty, charming, funny, fun to be around, but that could, like, what does that mean, right? <laughs> like, what does a girl like you mean? That could mean anything at all under the sun. And uh, <laughs> needless to say, I got some very choice text messages from, from the same girl later that night. Now, fortunately, fortunately, I was friends with uh, her friend, so she helped me smooth it over because she was like the ultimate wingman, I swear to you this. <laughs> and I'm sure that if I brought this story up to this girl today, we could both have a good laugh about it. But at the time, she was mad, and she had every single right in the world to be. Because I wasn't careful with my language. I didn't consider what it was that I was actually saying. To me, again, a girl like you, obviously, that could only be a positive thing, right? But as far as I know, in her mind, that could mean anything at all. You know, oh, you're going to turn me down? Well, I guess that's not a surprise. A girl like you, you slut, or something like that. You know, it's like, it could mean anything. And when you're, when you're giving feedback, it's like, when you say things like, you need... You have to understand that that is a command. If I say you need to do something, I am commanding you to do it. If you say you should do something at threat of something else, it's it's just that. It's, it can be interpreted as a threat. It can be a command even. So that's why I that's why I really encourage you guys when you're giving feedback to channels that you think about stuff like that because if I don't know you, if I can't see your face, if I can't hear your voice, how am I to know what you mean? How am I to know what you mean if you're not clear you know <laughs> so um, I, I really hope this person doesn't feel like I'm ragging on them we just ragged on myself too I blew myself away in that case I never even considered asking her out again because I was too embarrassed so there's how that story goes 
and hopefully you can see my point and how that ties back to <laughs> and how, how that ties back to YouTube, I guess. Anyways, in terms of Fire Emblem, uh, you guys did seem to kind of like it when I went through the map. I, I guess a lot like <laughs> I guess there was a little bit of confusion like that. I saw at least one or two people say, "Oh, I thought you meant you were gonna stream it." No, no, no. I just meant like just do it on the spot, sort of. And I guess we can do that today again. Although I probably will end up. Well, I, I, I don't want to say. I might end up cutting around a little bit more though, because this one is much trickier. <laughs> because we have a lot more things we need to do. The last map was really just a C straight up. There were really no other objectives besides maybe kill Sakura if I felt like it. This one. Uh, no, not the case. There's some really good treasure. I, I kind of want to set Niles up for a capture, which we'll see if I can do it or not. I really, I would really rather. <laughs> okay, so now I, we had a few supports that we didn't do last time and technically probably should have. Uh, we can start with Gunter and Dude, though. Now, I did actually see comments still asking me if I like anybody in this game. Yeah, I like characters in this game. I like some characters in this game. Sure, I like Leo. Uh, I like Gunter in Conquest, <laughs> specifically in Conquest. I do not like him in Revelation, and he's not in Birthright. Uh, I think Odin is really funny. Uh, he's a dumbass, to be sure. <laughs> but I think the gimmick is funny for the most part. I love Arthur. Arthur's so funny, even if it is just one note. I just, I, I enjoy it. I can't say it's good writing, necessarily, but it's entertaining, if that makes sense. Uh, Leo's mostly fine, though. He actually has some genuinely interesting things about him, mostly with his kid, but uh, I guess we'll see that when we see that, since Forrest is guaranteed to exist pretty much at this point, because uh, Nyx and Leo are both very usable. Nick's great parrot bot, Leo, uh, murder machine, so there's that. Man, I, just feel, I feel like I should point that out. Just because I am critiquing this game for its issues does not mean that I hate the entire game. You can look at any of my other playthroughs and I have treated each game exactly the same as this. Even Radiant Dawn, I remember spending like a, a good amount of time very confused about the blood pack because I didn't feel that it was explained very well. And I still feel that way today. I feel like... The problem with that one specifically was that it wasn't explained very well and also there were loopholes to it that existed and it just kind of made the characters that didn't think of that loophole seem kind of silly. Uh, in Fates, it's it's a lot more. It, it's a lot more, honestly. And that has to do with the quality of Fates, not with me being extra harsh on this game or anything. It's just there's more to digest with this game, I guess. Whereas in other Fire Emblem games, it tends to be a lot more standard, I guess. So there's not really any surprises. I'm not, there's not as much to critique because it works, you know? So don't feel that I'm being unfair to this game. I'm being exactly as fair to this game as every other game. It's just that you may find that Fates has more issues in terms of story than other titles in the series. That's all that's going on here, I promise. I'm back for more, Gunter. Weren't they playing catch or something like that? Yeah. I had a feeling you'd be back. Do you need to stretch or are you ready? I feel like Gunderson is something like that. Ready as I'll ever be. There's no way I'm missing one of your throws. All right then, here we go. And easily caught. <laughs> it's like you're, <laughs> I have to say Gunder, you throw like an old man. You know, I just remembered, wasn't this ball made from a whip? Really? You could do that? How would you? It was indeed. A pretty odd choice for material, I know. Gunter, would you be willing to tell me a few stories from when I was growing up? I still have a lot of holes in my memory from when I was little. Right, 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 she has amnesia, I forgot about- Yeah, I forgot about that, and so, and so does the game for that matter. Of course, but you'll have to pay attention to the ball at the same time. Did I ever tell you how come I made this ball from a whip? No. King Garon was in an especially foul mood one day. He summoned me and handed me a whip. You must teach dude to behave, he said, almost yelling. That sounds like Garon. Was I truly that problematic? Not in the least, in fact. But you were really closed off around everyone. King Garon was greatly displeased by that. So I took the whip from him and I made my way back to your room. I thought I was ready, but one look at your face. I turned right around, returned to my room, and broke that whip down into the leather. And this is what that ball is made from. See, like a support like this, this, this has a point. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, we're actually learning something here. About Gunter, but this... Y you know what? If we just pretend Revelation doesn't exist, which is... That's my preferred coping method, to be honest. What an unexpected turn. You turned something meant to punish me into a toy. Indeed. I knew that striking you would never get you to open up to anyone. Yeah, actually, in fact, I would have the opposite reaction I should imagine. 
So I came up with a different method. One that used this ball. I returned to your room sometime later, and I rolled the ball over to you. Which I immediately picked up, examined, and threw back to you. Oh, you remember this part. Good. Of course, no sooner did you catch it than you were throwing it back to me again. Something about such a simple game was really fun to me. I suppose that was when I started to see you as a father figure. You. You are much too kind. Ah, now look at what you've made me do. Hunter, it's rare that you miss a catch. My sincerest apologies. There was something in my eye. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Getting sentimental in your old age? Hang on, I'll get you a handkerchief. See, like, what's wrong with that? You know what I mean? Like, that's a good support as far as I'm concerned. Right? I can't, like... I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But I feel like a support like that serves a lot more of a purpose than, say... Some random crap with Niles being a freak or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I, I get that Niles' his character is based around the fact that he's a freak. But, like, how many supports do you really need to get that point across? You know what I mean? Especially if we're not going to even learn anything along the way. And like, I don't think I've ever seen it actually. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't remember seeing that support we just saw before. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember getting Gunter and Dude su support before. Uh, we're not going to see S support because I feel like that ruins the... <laughs> okay, and see, that's the other problem. Because what we just saw there is not romantic. But they can still bang if I want them to. <laughs> you know? And to keep it a buck with you guys, I, I really don't think Selena is coming along today either because the map doesn't really lend itself well to that so i suppose we could do the arthur camilla and then the next leo camilla and arthur a oh geez arthur man he hasn't been in battle so long what did he sound like ha 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 lady camilla i've completed my mission I'm mildly terrified to hear the results, but please go on. Certainly, and rest assured, I will be completely unambiguous in my report. I have utterly failed. <laughs> oh, let's hear the grisly details. As you wish, milady. My first order of business was to clear things up with Lady Azura. Fortune smiled upon me, however, as I found her walking with Lady Dude. So, seeking to catch two fish with one worm, as I believe the saying goes. I actually believe that's not the saying, Arthur. I first approached Lady Azura with a sincere apology. Strangely, she didn't acknowledge our previous encounter in any way. I actually... What, what did he do before? Didn't he like... Oh man, I'm gonna have to go back and look. I just can't remember. Next, I stood square in front of Lady Dude and proclaimed your love. Well, she gave me a very strange look indeed. And... And... That's when she shouted, it was you! And... And... That's when I took the opportunity to run away at full speed. Well, it does sound like you failed, but something about your story doesn't add up. Hmm, I can't imagine why. Did I mention the part where I was struck by a carriage on my way to the encounter? Oh yeah, now I believe you. <laughs> you most certainly did not. Did it strike you in the head, Arthur? Oh yes, not once, not twice, not thrice, but four times! Four times? How is that even possible? Are you sure it was only one carriage? I'm not sure of anything anymore! <laughs> Who are you? Where am I? My poor Arthur, you may not have failed quite as completely as you think. How so? Don't you see? In your confusion, you must have mistaken Dude for Lady Azura. Yes, that would explain certain... things. I'm so terribly sorry to have bungled this simple task yet again, Lady Camilla. How can I ever make it up to you? It's alright, Arthur. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Why do you guys take me seriously at all, by the way? I just, I, I really need to know. <laughs> From what I've heard, you aren't the luckiest fellow in the kingdom. And yet it seems you never back down from a challenge. That's an admirable quality. <laughs> Lady Camilla, you're too kind. Now, if I might have one more opportunity to redeem myself. Sorry, I'm not that kind. <laughs> I like how she says it with a smile, too. <laughs> and I mean, obviously that support is useless, though. Like, compare that to the Gunter dude support where we actually learned something. And it was actually kind of meaningful, in a way. You know? These, like, the two supports are night and day. I, I think that is the perfect example 
for what my main beef here actually is. And we can do Leo and Nyx. Yeah, Forest is gonna exist without a doubt. Like, look at this crap. Oh, what did Nyx sound like? Oh no! Right, right, right. She sounded super nasally for some reason. Like girl Urkel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Better than male Dory, I'll tell you that. Prince Leo. Yes, Nyx. You asked me not long ago who laid the curse on me. Yes, I recall. It may be myself. Care to explain? Long ago when I was young, I discovered I had a gift for the dark arts. Such power in the hands of a child, as you can imagine, led to the deaths of many. Until one day, one of the spells I wove took its toll, preventing me from maturing further. Ah, so that's how it came to be. I was crazed at first, desperate to find a way to break the curse's hold over me. But as time went on, I started to wonder if I deserved this form. Hmm. Honestly, this doesn't even seem like sufficient punishment for my actions. Close your eyes, Nyx. Why? I wish to use my own magic on you. I'd like to try speaking to your inner self, the one inside your heart. Prince Leo? I disagree with you. I think your punishment has been more than sufficient. And I'd say it's time you changed your perspective a bit. I have misgivings about this. I doubt it will be easy. You're quite set in your ways by now, after all. But setting your punishment aside for a moment, let us both consider the mature adult Nyx of your own self-image. Would she not forgive you? Would she not allow at least for the possibility? If you'll allow me, I'd like to speak to her one day and find out. Prince Leo, you've given me much to think about. I'm not sure about that idea of yours, but thank you for your concern. You are a good friend, if I may call you that. You may. Please remember that I'm always here for you, Nyx. See, that, that's a perfectly fine support. We didn't necessarily learn so much about Leo Ness's... Well, I, I would almost argue that we kind of did, because he's extending a helping hand here, right? And that's... I, I don't want to say that's uncharacteristic, necessarily. But it, it does serve to drive home the point that he's... He might act a little bit cold, a little bit distant, but he's not like a bad guy, you know what I mean? And then with Nyx, I mean, enough said, right? We finally figured out what the hell's going on with her and her curse, so... Supports like that... Supports that serve a purpose, you know, that's that's totally fine. That's totally fine, because it's kind of interesting to see that Nyx feels so guilty about whatever it is she, that, that she did. And m maybe it's explicitly stated what that was in another support or something. I don't know, I'd have to read them all, obviously, but... You know, stuff like that, I, I appreciate. I actually do. I think that's... I, I don't want to speak for everybody, okay? But I assume that supports like that are what people mean when they say they hope they get back to the old way of supports. You know, where we actually get some kind of meaningful development on top of, uh, on top of gameplay bonuses, you know. Because if it was just going to be the gameplay bonuses, why not just stick with Radiant Dawn at that point, you know what I mean? Because those conversations were so short, simple, to the point that it's like, whoa, man, you know, night and day compared to this. But if we're going to take the time to include proper supports at all, at least they should develop the characters, I feel. That's my personal opinion on it anyways. Now, I guess we can see what the hell's going to happen on with this. I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know how this is going to go. Like I said, it might be a little bit uh, more literal with the edits, at least when we're figuring this out. Because uh, there's... I, I can see this going a few different ways, <laughs> most of them poorly. Now, still shocked by the massacre King Garon ordered, the group presses on towards the Great Wall of Suzano. Once more, an intense battle awaits them. Uh, I don't know if I'd say once more necessarily, but this is uh, considerably more difficult, I would say. For a number of reasons. A number Azura. of reasons. Azura, how's Sakura holding up? I... Um... Not well. She won't speak a word, and I'm told she refuses to eat. <sighs> I'm not surprised. Poor thing. Several of you guys did actually correct me with what I was thinking about when it comes to the retainers. So... We didn't kill Hana and Tsubaki. But if we start killing retainers... Uh, spoiler alert, I guess, if we run into more retainers later on, then at that point we will actually start killing them. And I think that... Uh, today would be the first example of that, in fact. And when I say that there's no death in Fire Emblem, that that's not me being literal, and I, I suppose I deserve that, especially uh, if I'm going to make a big deal about language and all that, but I th that is hyperbole when I say there is no death in this Fire Emblem. Yes, there, there's some death in this Fire Emblem. I acknowledge it. There was Scarlet. Uh, there was Lilith. But what I, what I was trying to say with that is that if you look at a game like, I don't know, Blazing Sword, Fire Emblem 7, for the Game Boy Advance, 
Every time we kill an enemy, they die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time we defeat somebody, that's it. They're done. And it's not really so in this game. Even our own units just simply retreat. Even on classic mode. I mean, you guys should be well aware by this point that we've been playing on classic mode, obviously. So it's just very jarring that when in the old games, the games really went out of their way to make you feel like you messed up. Whereas here, it's just like, well, yeah, I can't use Silas anymore, but he didn't die. So I don't feel bad from a story perspective. You know what I mean? Because losing somebody in the old games, they would really, really make you feel like an asshole sometimes. Honestly. But not so in this game. So that, that's what I mean by the hyperbole. There is no death in this game. There is death in this game. I do acknowledge that. But I, I felt like that was worth clearing up. For someone so young to witness the massacre of all those soldiers, we're lucky we were able to take Sakura, Hyukimura, and the retainers as hostages. If Iago and Hans weren't frightened of Xander, they would be dead right now. <laughs> I like that Xander's actually starting to step up here, though, a little bit. Weird how he's not the leader, though. I've heard that Sakura is being kept separate from the rest. Is that so? No, but seriously, though, because he's the one with the most charisma here by far. Truly. I'm afraid so. I believe her isolation has made all of this even harder on her. But Elise has been visiting her quite often, making sure she gets food and blankets. Oh. Oh. Elise has been doing all that. <laughs> Why did you say it like that, dude? I'm a little surprised. Back in Izumo, she seemed rather hostile towards Sakura. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. That's I true. Don't know. Perhaps she's learned to focus on what they have in common. After all, they're both princesses and the youngest of all, of all their siblings. You should know that Garon's men don't agree with our choice to keep them alive. Which somebody actually already brought this up. They did, and, uh. Yeah, yeah, this seems like. I mean, I'll be honest, I hadn't really considered it like this before they brought it up. I, I played the game, I paid attention to the story as best I could, but yeah, this was another one that I didn't think of. So, if they have Sakura, isn't the war basically done? Right? Because they can just... Like, that is the ultimate bargaining chip, is it not? <laughs> you know, you've got the princess of their entire nation, what choice do they have but to surrender? And if they don't, then they risk Sakura dying, which I guess maybe they... Maybe they're playing hardball here, I don't know, but we, we don't find out, and that's the issue. If you would have simply said, like, if Ryoma would have come out and been like, oh, it's too bad for Sakura or something like that, I mean, in more choice words, obviously, but if you would have had the the remaining Hoshin siblings at least acknowledge this, uh, it might be, it might be more believable, I guess. I do remember it coming up here, though. Uh, well, we'll see. We should keep close watch on them, or I shudder to think what might happen. Understood. You're right. I wish it weren't so. But those who still follow father over Xander are not to be trusted. Uh. Indeed, as it were. The Norian army is split in two as of now. Huh? What do you mean? Listen. There are those whose allegiances lie with you, Xander, Leo, and the others. And those who still swear fealty only to King Garon, Iago, and Hans. Yeah, this is what I was starting to get at. I do actually understand why. Uh, there would be soldiers that are swearing loyalty to King Garon, Iago, and Hans, even still. Hans is a little bit weird, because he, he was just some guy, I thought, before the beginning of this game, right? But I, I suppose we don't really have a solid time frame on all of this, especially with Baby Realms ruining everything. It's really unclear just how long this game actually takes. But, that said, it makes sense to me that there would still be followers for these guys because... Well, <laughs> I say it makes sense, but in Birthright and not Conquest, now... In Birthright, it's revealed the Nor actually is every bit the shithole that they've described it as, okay? Because you actually go through, like, a secret passageway, like, through the slums, essentially, uh, during one of the storyline sections of that game. And you get to see a little bit that, yeah, it's much, much worse in Nor than it is in Hoshido. So, to me, that says, okay, these soldiers really don't care that Garon is <laughs> batshit crazy, basically. They just care about conquering Hoshido because that's where all the resources are. So it makes sense that they have followers, but their strategy is a little bit strange, <laughs> I have to admit. The only reason that Garon would, like, prefer killing Sakura over using her as a bargaining chip is because he's just mustache twirlingly evil. That's the only logical conclusion to be drawn from that, I feel. Conquering Hoshido is our only option, but our methods have been drawn attention. Or, but our methods have drawn attention. If things continue like this, we might have a rebellion of sorts to contend with. It's convenient that King Garon is already here in Hoshido. But if something happens and we lose his trust, we will all be in grave danger. Until he sits on that throne, we should all proceed with extreme caution. 
Yeah. You're right. We must be patient. The whole world depends on it. Once Father sits on that throne, everyone will finally know the truth. Only then can we... Um... Ha! Lady Dude! Lady Azra! Uh? Iago. Oh? Am I interrupting something? No. No, not at all. Did you need something? Why, yes. King Aaron orders you and your troops to prepare for battle immediately. We will be arriving at the Great Wall of Susano before long. Well... The Great Wall of Susano? Oh. Oh, my apologies, young princess. I take it you've never heard of the place before. It is the last hurdle that stands between us and the Hoshinden Castle. Once we pass through, we will enter the capital city. My forces shall be leading the charge. You, on the other hand, have been tasked with conquering the enemy's core legion. That means defeating their leader, Prince Takumi. Oh, this guy again! <laughs> Takumi... Takumi is leading Hoshido's core legion? Yeah. That guy, seriously? We kicked his ass three times now. Haven't we? There was chapter 10, beat his ass. Uh, the prologue, we beat his ass. Uh, chapter 13, we beat his ass. So yeah, he's he's 0-3. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. Yes, we received word of it from our scouts not too long ago. I see. I see. Um, We already have Princess Sakura as a hostage, so there's no need to keep him alive. I'm sure you would prefer to spare him, but I doubt our dear king would agree. <sighs> Actually, I'd prefer to kill him. Right. You are correct, Iago. I will deal with Takumi for the glory of Nor. However, first things first. For now, I must focus on the battle ahead. I will tell my troops to prepare for battle. Of course. Understood. <laughs> now then. Whoa, 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 that, <laughs> whoa, that didn't sound anything like Iago. What the hell was that? This, this sounded like they just grabbed some random intern at the last moment because they realized they needed one more voice clip. What? <laughs> now to joyously watch dudes suffer. Poor princess, what will you do? Uh, I'll kick his ass, that's what I'll do. That's what I've been doing for how many maps now? Uh, okay, so this map is a bastard. Uh, first things first. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Everybody I'm highlighting right here. Every single one. Every single person that I just highlighted. They don't matter. Not not at all. <laughs> I'm not going that way. No, no, you can't make me. You cannot make me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Hinata. Look at Hinata. He's not nearly as scary as Ana, but his group is ten times worse. <laughs> Look at all of this, man. So, <sighs> there's this guy over here who he's pretty cool. Uh, but that's not what you guys are talking about, right? There's this guy, okay? We call him the Rally Man. This is the Rally Man. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this nonsense. Rally strength, rally speed, rally defense, rally resistance. Oh my god. Oh my god, and you can capture this guy. <laughs> you can see where I'm going with that, I'm sure. But I'm gonna need you, dog. I'm gonna need to pick you up here, so... Hopefully now this feels like playing a lot. But yeah, everybody over here, at least for my team, is utterly irrelevant. Honestly, if I'm you, if I'm you, I recommend you just ignore them uh, no matter what, to be honest, because good God. So the thing that makes these snipers such a bastard, by the way, is this skill right here. They have counter. <laughs> counter on snipers. Now, counter, as it would imply, will damage you equal to the amount of damage that you would have dealt should you attack from an adjacent tile. So if I'm dealing 20 damage to this guy right next to him, I automatically deal 20 damage to myself. However, much like every other skill in this game, more or less, it doesn't take effect if they die. So if I kill this guy with my second attack, let's say, then I won't still take that 20 damage or whatever. It'll just, it'll bypass the skill, which is how you really want to deal with those guys. Uh, at least when you're formulating your plan, you should take that into account, I think. So really, you only blow yourself away once when you fight them, but still. And a lot of these guys have lunge as well, so it's really difficult to engage just one guy unless you're actually killing him, because again, skills do not trigger if they die. That's why, <laughs> and I, you might have noticed that I haven't been like super specific with what enemies have for skills lately, and that's just because honestly, it doesn't matter at all. It really just does not matter if you kill them in a single round. They can have anything at all, and it just wouldn't take effect. 
So that's kind of been my mentality. It, it, it wasn't like that at the beginning of the game. If you would have asked me when I started this playthrough, I would have said, of course, it's important to check skills. Uh, right now, I'm telling you, it's really not. It's really not. It's usually overblown. Like, these guys have seal defense or whatever, but if I kill them in one round, they have no skills. Do you, you see what I'm saying? If this guy dies, he doesn't have lunge and seal defense. He has nothing because he's dead. Uh, same thing with the boss. Takumi as the as the uh, game would imply. He has all this crap, but it doesn't matter, and I'll tell you why. Because Leo can kill him with lightning. So instead of taking the time to check out his skills at all, because you don't have to, I can just I can just kill him. <laughs> if I can kill him, then it doesn't matter. If I can't kill him, then I need to worry. If that makes sense. Uh, and I can already tell you that I do not feel like dealing with these guys at all. So what's going to need to happen here is I'm going to need one of Leo or Elise. I think it has to be Leo, though, because I don't think Elise can use lightning yet. And that was kind of what I was... That's kind of what I wanted to do because this... <laughs> I should explain what his skills are. So I guess the lightning thing will make sense in that light. But he has, first of all, Rend Heaven, which deals half your strength or magic, which everyone's higher, back to you as bonus damage. So that's really bad. If I go up there with Dude with 40 strength and he procs this, then I'm going to take 20 extra damage and probably die. Doesn't matter if he dies. He has Vengeance, which will deal half of the damage that he has taken back to me. Uh, should this go off. So if he's taken, let's say, 20 damage, then he'll do a bonus 10 if Vengeance go off. Doesn't matter if he dies. He has bow fair, deals plus five damage with the bow Ryumi. Doesn't matter if he dies. Point blank. Doesn't matter if he dies. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I, I do think it's hugely overblown by people who aren't as familiar with the mechanics of this game, just how important it actually is to check skills. Because none of these guys can do anything to me if they die. Like not <laughs> not anything. Duelist blow though. I, I I will say that. Stuff like duelist blow, uh darting blow, warding blow. They matter a little bit, but with what, what it says to me, when I see a guy with, like, is there somebody with warding blow or armored blow or something like that? Uh, Oboro, I think. Yeah, okay, so Oboro takes minus 20 damage magically if she attacks first. So what that says to me is she's not going to attack first. I'm going to kill her on player phase, if that makes sense. Because if I don't, then this skill matters. Then this skill matters if I let her attack me. But if I just kill her, then it's like good game because none of it matters if she dies same with luna uh if i wanted to avoid luna i would focus on killing her with like lightning or something or just from two range or so somehow that's what you really want to think of when you're when you're looking at skills like these you want to focus on making them irrelevant don't try to deal with the skills uh if you don't have to try to make them irrelevant and then if there's absolutely no other way to deal with it then you consider what the implications are but otherwise, you're just wasting your time. There's no need for me to think about how this is going to affect me. Uh, well, Abora maybe not the best example. I don't know how we're killing her just yet. But there's no reason for me to even worry about Takumi's skills because he's going to die before he can do anything with them, you know? And I think that if you simplify your thought process in that way, the skills thing is really just not true. It's really just not. And this is me defending fates. Goddamn. <laughs> it's the things that I didn't think that would happen at the beginning of this playthrough, man. We know that Leo can kill Takami if he has an attack of 39 with the lightning. I can do that because Izana, who's going to give him plus four. And then I can get plus four from the mess hall plus tonic if I need to. So where is he at with that alone? Keeping in mind that we're already talking plus eight here. We're already talking plus eight here. Actually, we're talking plus 10 here because he has that malefic aura. So right there, right there. I don't even have to give him a pair. I can just kill Takumi with lightning straight up because I'll have eight from mess hall plus rally plus tonic and then two more from my aura which gives us 39 minus 13 times two is 52 Takami is dead however if I use Leo before that point I'm going to start losing magic so maybe I still want to think about giving him some kind of magic pair up in the event that I need him to lightning something beforehand which I probably do honestly <laughs> What we did last time, I was just kind of freeballing. I never really, I never really specifically worked backwards like that, but it, it worked out so well that I kind of want to try it again. So if I'm going to kill Takumi, I need Leo to be right here by the time, let, let's say turn four, right? It should take me about four turns to get this far, I think. Four, maybe five tops. I guess in this case, since there are stairs in play, it would help to think in terms of the stairs, right? Okay, so I need Leo to be at least here, okay? So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 
Before I can see is I need Leo to be at least where Oboro is, basically. He needs to be right next to Oboro. And now looking at this formation right here, the weak link is fairly clear, is it not? This is the only guy who is not paired up. So perhaps I actually don't need to kill Oboro at all if I am created. Because if I kill this guy, with one kill I can blitz through. But I either need to kill this guy with the same person who is going to seize. And since dude has really good movement, let's say I want to seize with dude. Let's say dude is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would be good right there. So if I kill this guy with dude using the dual club, which I should be able to do considering he has very bad speed at only 22. Even though she has not had the greatest luck with speed, 20, uh, 27 is a joke by this point. And since she's insanely powerful, I know I can one round him without really doing the math. I'm sure she has at least 43 attack. I, I'm just sure. And again, with skills, if I let this guy come to me, yeah, I need to consider armored blow, but I'm going to kill him on my turn. I'm going to kill him on my turn somehow. So he could have any skill or no skill, it wouldn't matter. Uh, yeah, so if I can break this guy and somehow have Leo right here. This section of the map is no joke, <laughs> by the way. Oh, and look at this. Oh, I didn't even catch this. Oh, my God. So in hard mode, these guys are not here. <laughs> I, I assure you. These guys are not here on hard mode. And the implication is that... If we're gonna go in, we gotta go in from the middle, basically. Ooh, that's a bastard move. Yeah, these guys are for sure not here on hard mode. What I was gonna do was have Niles run up the stairs. Uh, to get back to this though, I think it might be time to bust out the rescue staff, right? Cause I can go. Yeah, let's say there's somebody down here, okay? I can pick them up. I can pick them up, which means that instead of having to have a bunch of people up here and somehow doing like some shelter dance crap, because if I move Leo up here next to Oboro, obviously that's his move, so he can't go talk to me. And if he can't, and if he can't survive this situation, then obviously that's no good either. So ideally what would happen then is I could get somebody with the rescue up here. Let's say, actually, Nyx can do it. Yeah, Nyx could do it. So if I get Nyx to here, I, I don't know if I've ever explicitly stated this, uh, but as far as I'm aware, the rescue staff works like this. It goes right, then up, then left, then south. Uh, so if I have a rescue user here, basically, it should pull Leo to here. At which point I would need... Somebody holding Ajra right here, I think. Because I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ooh. How about this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, yeah, psh, that's easy. That's easy. Easy street. I don't even need her that close in that case. So, <laughs> if I am not in a great mood for the rest of this video, um, I just got some, I, I got some horrible news, honestly. Um, apparently... We're putting down the family dog today, which, wow. That that really did kind of sour my mood a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> He's like the goodest boy, I swear. I know everybody says that about their dog, but like, man. <sighs> yeah, that, that really puts a damper on this whole day. Give me... Because mm -hmm. I, I don't even live at home anymore, but it's like I see him often enough. And it's like, ah. He's such a good dog, dude. The smartest dog I ever had. Uh, okay, so I think we made it to this point. So if I get Nyx here, let's say I rescue Leo, he would be here. Azura paired up with somebody. It doesn't really matter who. They just have to have a good move. Okay, so what if Nyx with rescue staff right here with a pair up? So she can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's there. We'd rescue Leo. He ends up here. Let's say Camilla was actually on the staircase. One, two, three, four, five, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if she had a pair up, she could be the one to kill this guy. Because if Leo was up here, and in that case, he really only needs to be somewhere in this area. As long as Leo is somewhere in this area, I guess here or here. Wow, that barely works. <laughs> but if Leo is in like one of these two spots, I can pick his ass up, he'll teleport here, Camilla can then kill this guy. Dude runs in with Azura, dances Camilla, who then, uh, after Leo of course, Leo goes in first, kills Takumi. 
happened and Camilla seizes. Now this treasure is way more interesting because... Well, okay, Niles... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! So Niles needs a movement pair up. We know that. And he also, awkwardly enough, needs to be right here. I'm actually going to let you guys know right now. I'm making a very bold assumption in that the rescue staff can actually just ignore this height. But it should be able to. So I should be able to go one, two, three. So he said this slot will be Camilla. This slot will be Nyx with her parents. No, this, this slot will be Dude. And this slot will be Nyx paired up with somebody else. Which means it should probably be Elise with a pair up right here, right? Because we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. But Niles has to be here if I'm going to win that section. He has to be here because I'm not passing this up. These are boots. <laughs> oh, these got. Oh, I. Oh, do you see what they did here? Do you see. Do you guys see what they did here? So every archer on this map has counter, right? Except for the two in the choke point. Because I could put somebody here if I wanted to play this straight, and I could put somebody here if I wanted to play this straight. And then this side is actually completely cut off because of the terrain. And they can't counter me because they don't have it. But every other one does. That is really smart. <laughs> I like that, actually. Yeah, both of these guys will probably go after release. What I want to do, first of all, is have Leo kill this guy on the first turn because this Ballista is going to drop everybody down to 1 HP. Everybody who's flying. Well, yeah, everybody. <laughs> My entire team is flying. So he'll drop everybody down to 1 HP. We don't want that. This guy, however, does a much worse job of checking the enemy, as you can see. So I can, in theory, route these four guys, dance for Leo, have him kill this guy with the lightning, and then Elise can kill this guy because Leo will be next to him. And she's not going to have a good chance of missing. Even right here would be better, I think, because that would be... Uh, that would mean that I could just use my... My spell? Uh, the Thunderstruck. I can use that. Potentially. No, not even potentially. He has life or death, so of course I will kill him. But Niles needing to be right here is actually what's killing me. If not for that, this would be no issue because I could just run up into his face. And then just... <laughs> murder him basically the alternative to that would be lunge somehow so yeah once I figure out how to kill this guy though I think we can give this a shot is it gonna let's see if Elise is here one two three four five six seven eight nine no there's really no way I can get her close enough I don't think because really this here would be no better this here would be no better unless Unless I pair her with Silas, which should be all the difference. Yeah, so if I have Elise paired with Silas, of all people. Yeah, Elise and Silas. What an awkward combination of <laughs> heroes. But that's going to do it, I think, because, again, if I can make that guy attack Silas, he will not die. And again, these guys are really just not an issue. Look at how scary Hinata is now, by the way. <laughs> Triple threat still pretty annoying soul so have fun keeping him low uh, counter magic so nice lightning there chief he's also on a gate by the way I don't know if I mentioned that or not but he's actually 10 times more obnoxious because of that and he also has armored blow and it, additionally I do remember that these guys actually don't move until you're like I don't know whose range it is honestly I really don't it's probably these guys in the back I would guess but you need to be in range of a good deal of them you can't draw them like one at a time to these sports or anything like that the game does not let you Okay, yeah, I'm actually just gonna buy the hard seal for Xander because I don't feel like <laughs> I don't feel like working this out in any other way. So Xander, here you go, bud. Okay, wow, this was <laughs> this was unreal. This was quite the thinker, man. Uh, I think that we're gonna give this a shot. Uh, I I basically already said everything that I was going to do, and I ended up doing a lot of that. But the only thing that is a little bit strange here is that Mozu. Uh, she is going to have a health tonic because of this guy <laughs> and he will kill the crap out of her if not for that uh, I'm pretty confident let's let's do this yeah it should be this she needs to be next to Dwyer because of the rally so I needed to bring Dwyer after Aldous for that so that I can rally both uh, Elise 
and Mozu, by rallying Elise, it actually saves me a little bit of money on having to buy, like, a health tonic for this whole situation. Because uh, she will be a little bit exposed. Uh, the only thing that I changed, really, is that I decided Ajima doesn't have to be over on this side immediately. So, instead, uh, Jacob. <laughs> I haven't used this guy in so long, man. Uh, Jacob is going to be Leo's personal fairy for this map, basically, because he also gives a meaty little magic boost to him, and we're going to need that if we're going to blow up Takumi, <laughs> basically. Uh, that said, let's give this a go. Good. Good, and long last. I'm so glad you could make it, Princess Dude of Nor. I assume that I made him sound like a nerd, so... <laughs> but no, that's so long as there is a... He actually kind of sounds like Nyx, huh? <laughs> What's going on there? But no, that so long as there is a single breath in my body, I will not let you pass. I mean that. You shall not enter our capital under any circumstance. <laughs> Four turns later. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Are you ready, dear sister? Today is the day you die. Fourth time is the charm, as they say. Even if I must give my life to achieve it, I will not fail. I will kill you, dude. Prepare to die like the coward you are. And he's really, he's really passionate about this. I gotta give him that. Definitely gotta give him that. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not nearly as 100% on this one as I was in the last one. Mostly because getting Rally Man, dude. I don't want to pass him up though, because I very well could need that. I mean, this is such a clutch ability, and that's, I assume that's why he's here, obviously. Uh, but he hits, again, basically every core stat. Strength, speed, and both defenses. For plus four. And I mean, that's a huge amount by any metric, so... Passing him up doesn't make a lot of sense to me, honestly. Uh, in order to do this, though, I did need to buy a Bronze Axe, because, believe it or not, uh, Tamila is so goddamn strong, even without a pair-up, that anything stronger than this results in a kill. <laughs> so she literally needs the weakest possible weapon, no pair-up. <laughs> Like, goddamn, tell me this girl is not broken. Oh, and I also changed her over to a Wyvern Lord because there's no reason for her to be a Malignite Knight anymore. I believe I should have shown that, but in case I didn't, just be aware she's a Wyvern Lord because she was capped on strength. Her Malignite Knight strength cap is 22. Uh, and she also gets a little bit more speed, a little bit more everything, really. All she really loses out on is a few points of res and some magic. But Camilla's not really the, you know, the magic using Malignite. Knight. Uh, somebody actually said that they were using a Malik Knight, uh, Leo, by marrying Baruka, and that sounds sick, I won't lie. That sounds really cool. I haven't tried it personally. We're going to get this capture right here, though. Rally man, come here. <laughs> Thank you, Niles. But yeah, uh, Malik Knight, Leo sounds really sick, though. I, I've never tried it before, but oh my god. You do deserve better, Niles. This is why you're on the bench, though, gotta say. So we grab him up. There's nothing to fear because my prison is completely empty at this point. Now, Mo's we're actually going to take Xander. I ended up giving her a speed tonic just for this very occasion. And I, I ended up buying a another iron bow so I could forge it up. Man, Rally Man is really expensive. Because if I didn't do this, right, I could just ignore this group on the right entirely. But I need to protect Niles. If I don't protect Niles, he will fall over. And <laughs> we're, not, we're not about that life. We really aren't. Nice. Mozu becomes more Mozu. All right. So he dies. Now, with the dude. Actually, I mean, it may as well rally. Oh, I didn't rally. Oh, I didn't rally her. I didn't rally Mozu. She's going to die. <laughs> oh, she's very dead. Probably. Well, is she? Actually, I think she tanks on one. I think she tanks on one. And it's actually much more important that I rally Elise. Like, that has to happen. Yeah, I, I don't think I considered Xander's little boost there. So yeah, she survives re regardless of the uh, of the rally. I guess then in that case, I could have just maybe rallied her and not gotten the tonic. Huh. Yeah, I think that would have worked because then she'd be at 21. This guy would do 27. No, it wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. But whatever, whatever. Uh, so we rallied with Izana. Now we can do like one of these. Yeah, that should be fine. Whoop, not, not end. God damn it. Ajra. There we go. So we get this going. And we're going to throw Leo right here. Bring him back to the front and blow this guy's face off. Lightning is such a great spell. It really is. And that's going to protect all of my flyers. Because, again, this guy is a little bit closer than the dude up top. So we got to take him out of there if we're going to do things this way. Excellent. Can't have him dropping all my dudes down to 1 HP and all. So level up for Leo. You know, if he gets that, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if he gets magic, then it's like, I don't really need to worry too, too much about spamming lightning. 
uh, because he was already really, really close to being able to uh, just kill Takumi outright, even if I bum rush and use lightning every turn. But by getting a little bit more magic like that, it's actually going to create a little bit of a safety net. Now, this guy's only as strong as he is because of life and death, and by the time the third guy could potentially attack, at least she would have a guard. And I think the enemy on some level must be aware of that, because I do believe that they'll go for Leo, although they do have a weapon triangle on him and can get to him much easier than they can Elise. That said, because Elise is right next to him, he's taking essentially zero damage, especially after that rally. He basically is at 32-32 defenses, so that's pretty crazy, actually. Holy crap, this guy tanks and this guy does one. <laughs> Hot ma'am, Leo. Look at this guy go. Uh, and with Dude, though, she's actually holding on to Nyx, and we can blow this dude up with the Killer Axe. And again, she takes zero as well because of the rally. Now, technically, we are going to be in range here. Is that is that an Oko? It is. Nice, nice. Uh, we are technically in range of the Northern Ballista, the dude on the wall. But if I put Baruka right here, because she's way worse than Dude, and since the Ballista dude can only hit one guy anyways, he's going to go for Baruka. I hope. Yeah, he does. Cool. I, I thought that was how that worked. And even though these guys have weapon triangle, we still have the Heart Seeker since they need to attack in melee to do anything. They have to do this, otherwise they basically tank. Like I said. So we can really destroy these guys right here. This guy's of no threat to anyone on the next turn because Leo's gonna seal his magic right now. Ha! You couldn't just give him the one damage, man. You had to get the Brynhildr proc. You had to. All right, here comes Jacob, level 16, no speed. Told you. Well, I'll <laughs> some. 15 levels now. He's like Makaya 2.0, I swear. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess I could... Don't crit. Oh, I thought he did. I really did. <laughs> so I guess I could have just rolled for a dodge on Mozu or something, I guess, because she's, like, she's pretty dodgy here. But I think that the way we've done things is, of course, much safer. Now... This is the last guy I really need to worry about. I would like to drop off Xander so I can pick up both Izana and Azura. And possibly Dwyer, I guess. I, I don't know if Dwyer's going to matter. So if Leo ends up here... Wait, I just... Oh my god, I just saw that. I just saw that. Oh no, we triggered reinforcements by crossing the chasm, haven't we? Oh no, I didn't account for any of that. I really didn't. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, see, if I would have... If I want to ignore Rally, man, right... But I can't do that because I failed to deal with the archers. Oh, I might have to just let these guys come to me, honestly. I might. I know that Hinata's group really isn't going to move unless they get too close. So that's something to think about. But with these guys, I was not prepared for that. I really wasn't. Uh, counter, counter, seal, defense? Seal, defense. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to wait for these guys. I have to, I think. But I think what I was starting to say is if I didn't get Rally Man right, I could move this way, take advantage of the fact that the archers can't really do crap, and then I could blitz up here, trigger the reinforcements, but by then I would be in position to seize as I had described. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that, unfortunately. I, yeah, I, I'm going to need to get these guys. I think it's worth the time spent just so that I can get Rally Man, honestly. Uh... That kind of protects me from any kind of bad RNG or anything like that because four in all stats essentially is pretty nuts. I, I don't think that that needs to be said. Yeah, and if I'm going to wait those guys, I mean, it's just the one wave. Maybe I could even move Dwyer over to... I don't think I need Dwyer, basically. And maybe if I move him this way, I can pull at least this southern group towards the right-hand side. I don't need Dwyer, do I? Okay, yeah, so then in that case, then I will just, I'll drop off, I'll drop Xander. Because that's going to give Izana somewhere to go. No, I'm, I'm so paranoid that they're going to, they're going to go north. I would so much rather have them come this way. If anything, actually, I should have moved Dwyer over here, which would have been as close as he could have been. I, I guess I, I'm really shook because I wasn't really counting on these guys, honestly. Uh, that said, we still have a little while before Camilla needs to be where she needs to be. I'm pretty sure she doesn't even need a bear up to kill this guy because she's really broken. Yeah, she will because of trample. I mean, look at that. 26 with the basic bronze axe. Wow, how embarrassing. Wow, how embarrassing. 
We're just going to blow him up, though, honestly. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry about that. We've seen this so many times, though. I mean, how many times can Camilla really kill Scrubs and have it be interesting? <laughs> no, no, no. We'll just use the slow. Honestly, it seems safer. The guy behind me is of no issue, to my knowledge. We should have enough characters left to deal with him no matter what. So we'll use the slow, preserve HP on dude. Take no damage. Nice, nice. Learn some new steps. Hell yeah. And we're getting so much experience on him, he's just that underleveled, I guess. Wow. Uh... We don't want to try fool with these guys. Not yet. Not yet. I can't. I can't see myself doing it. I mean, truthfully, I might as well, at the very least, get Camilla the hell out of Dodge, right? I, I really don't see why not. So what's lost by this, right? So at least that way, she's not going to fall over. Yeah, it's really not. <laughs> we'll figure it out, though. Uh, we got to bring Dude over here, too, because I'm going to need to smash some of those guys, no doubt. Not entirely sure how just yet, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Damn, those reinforcements were really not a part of this plan, I have to admit. I mean, I don't think I dare even risk that though, right? Uh, yeah, this will be slower. This is going to be slower for sure. So I wasn't accounting for those guys. And that's just, that's why reinforcements are just so dangerous, man. Just one group like this is going to ruin everything. Ah, yes, we did actually pull that group to the right though, which is good for one uh given that mm, yeah i might not be able to have well i don't know i need these guys out of the range of out of the range of dang old uh hinata though that's basically uncontested i think yeah i mean it really just doesn't matter i need to i need to deal with that group i can't set up while they still exist Okay, Takami, so instead of like four turns or whatever, you're gonna get maybe six, I guess. Show this man a little bit of respect. I think that is the longest it's ever taken me to kill Takami in one of his maps, though, so there's that. <laughs> yeah, let's just bring up their support a little bit more. I'm not really worried about getting Soleil, like I say. She's gonna exist. I have no problems with that. Thank you, thank you. Can't see what else Mozu needs health for. Really can't. I only need health on... Actually, I don't need health on anybody at this point. I just need Camilla to not instantly die to that Basara, and then everybody else is sort of irrelevant, I think. Assuming I know a goddamn thing about the rescue staff, maybe I can even... Mm. I was testing it, though, and it, it does go north after it tries to go east, so... I'm, I'm just gonna trust my gut on that. Uh, if I fail, we can just cut until I find the right formation or whatever, but there's going to be at least one formation that will pull Leo to the north, which is what I need. Why is this guy so strong? Oh, he got rallied. Ah, I see. That is clever. And very annoying. <laughs> yeah, because I'm nowhere near fast enough. Although maybe I actually, in all honesty, can get Camilla for speed. Actually, if I just simply gave her Nyx, I think that would do it, right? Sure enough. So I guess that's how we're doing this. Uh, not the classiest win, but it's going to work. I promise. So you there. I do not want to get sealed if I don't have to. So we equip, the, we equip that. Uh, everybody else just back the hell off. Again, HP is irrelevant on basically everybody at this point. It really just is. So we can pull these guys this way once more, I guess. So Dwyer, you stand right here. And because Dwyer's mounted, obviously, we can just outrun them. And we're gonna need Izana here in a second. Unless Hinata's group starts moving now, in which case I lose. <laughs> in which case I lose badly. <laughs> like, it, it wouldn't even be a question. I don't think they're going to, though. So that's good. Like I say, we do not need the help on anybody. Camilla's gonna kill one of them for me right now. Three losers is easy to kill, I think. It's gonna be, what, two snipers, one more of these guys, and... No, that's actually it. Yeah, one more spear master and two snipers. That's all I have to kill, and then we can do what I was trying to do. <laughs> so yeah, I guess if I would have taken the time to consider reinforcements a little bit more carefully, we could have come up with something a little bit more solid, but this is easy enough that I feel like anybody could do this, right? It, like, shoot, even if you wanted to, even with just one flyer, this would work, because you can just ferry people over one at a time if you really wanted to. All right, Dwyer, you're done for the map, buddy. I'll have enough. Yeah, so let, let's 
put this into motion. Uh, Leo kills you. Hopefully. <laughs> that would be bad. I do want to attack from range because even though in uh, other games, counter only activates on physical hits, I think I think there's at least some games that that is the case. Uh, but in this game, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm adjacent to him, counter will count. <laughs> if that's a sentence, right? But yeah, if I'm adjacent to the guy, counter will activate. And we do not want that. Naturally. Ooh, hold up. Elise needed to be closer. <laughs> Elise needed to be closer. Probably. Well, I guess not necessarily. Um, no, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. It's, I just have to dance for her then, because I, I'm so sure that I need Silas to body block for me one time. Just one time. Uh, unless Leo can be here? Yeah, what if I dance for Leo and he did the blocking? Because he actually has a shield gauge. And I mean, this would still be close enough to rescue. Yeah, so I guess that's how we salvage that. Camilla here. Leo here. Silas here. That'll do it. Yeah, so Silas needs to be here. So I need to kill that man. I have to. Well, actually, this is nothing lost. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is nothing lost. If I kill him, then I don't get countered. And if I don't kill him, then I can attack stance with Camilla because actually she... Oh, she has next... <laughs> actually, it's fine. It's fine. I, I see exactly how I can do this, actually. Oh, God, I'm so goddamn good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you. Yeah, here we go. That was that was a puzzler. I was not ready for this reinforcements. I, oh my god, dude, why? <laughs> I can't win now, I don't think. That was crucial. That was so crucial because Camilla was gonna hand axe attack stance, kill him. Yeah, that was crucial. Because I needed, I need Silas there. It's not like I want him there. He actually just has to be there. Which leaves me with this option, I guess. I mean, like, what, what can I do? Um, maybe dude outright does 15 damage. In all seriousness. Uh, 50. Minus 22. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Are you serious? Oh. Oh, man, you hate to see that. Because what was going to happen, I would have given Nyx here. Uh, Xander or Mozu even could come in, take her, shoot on this guy. You could just kill this guy via, via Silas, I think. Silas could have done it with a jabby. But that's not, that's not how this is going to happen, is it? <laughs> Maybe I did the math wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is an L, though. Why was that the... Ugh, I should have just used something more accurate. I really should have just used something more accurate. Yes, this sucks. That sucks. That is the last thing I wanted to see. <laughs> Man. Well, there's only one way out of this. Because <laughs> I, I still want to try at least a little bit, right? I want to try kind of hard. Not too hard, though, because these reinforcements are nasty. Uh, we have a... Actually, dude still has about a 50% chance to kill him between Dragon Paint and a crit. Please! <laughs> please. 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 Yes. <laughs> oh, God bless. Oh, God bless. <laughs> now, in fairness. In fairness, I shouldn't have missed. <laughs> oh, I'm so trash. But Camilla is not. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Wait, why didn't I? Oh my god, are you kidding? So I just realized who should have had the uh, <laughs> the forge. <laughs> the axe forge. Oops. What's your weapon right? Oh, is it time? Oh, I'm so goddamn lucky. Okay, here's how we do this then. Here's how we, I gave her the rescue, right? Otherwise, this is all, like, really dumb of me. Okay, cool. Okay, so here's how we're fixing this whole situation. Uh, Mozu. We still need to grab Nyx because dude needs to be free so Azura can uh, transfer herself over, basically. So we're going to do 30 right here. Oh, but the lightning is so inaccurate. I already know that's going to be my beef, right? 
that's gonna be my problem here. Actually, my bigger problem is that I just straight up can't dance for Leo. <laughs> okay, so I didn't think these reinforcements through at all. And you can see the difference, guys. Like, man, just one unexpected thing like that, and then suddenly this game becomes so much harder. What I should have done... Oh, my God, I could have saved it, too, and I just saw... Oh, I'm so bad. Wasn't I starting to say that exact thing? And then I just didn't do it because I was going to take the lightning from Leo with Mozu, give it to Izana. Izana can give it back, then rally Leo. All in the oh my god, I'm so trash. I'm so trash. I am not with it, guys. I, I was with it at first, guys, but I am not right now. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was trash. Actually, do I need to unpair literally anybody else? I think the answer to that is no. So what we can do is hopefully... Hopefully we don't miss. Please, oh please, don't let me miss. <laughs> please, oh please, don't let me miss, man. Here comes Big Silas. Yes. <laughs> we can save this. Because. Xander. Take this. Yeah, this is the better way. I was, I was actually going to do... Uh, Oh, I still should have done Silas, actually, because I could have traded him away from the javelin in the off chance that guy wants to come wreck him. <laughs> oh, my God. I am not with it. I'm so sorry. For the glory of that should have definitely... Uh, that should have been my move. Why was that not my move? I guess we're going to see what happens. I mean, there's, there's a very real possibility that these guys aren't going to come from my soul. It's possible. Because I know that Hinata's group is... Yeah, they're not going to do it. That's what I thought. Uh, so I guess I was worried about nothing, but I, I I really just wanted to think that through in case of worst case scenario, you know? Uh, that said, Camilla's not going to take 16, right? Oh, we've got to be... No, she won't because of uh, the dang old duel club. So we good. We Gucci. So now, Camilla, up here. Got to kill this guy because he is unpaired with the duel club. He's going to get... Oh, dual attacks! dual strikes, but it's too late. I literally have to make this move now. <laughs> Why didn't I pair her? Why didn't I pair her with anybody? Why? <laughs> I have so many questions. So to go through all of that and lose, are you kidding me? Camilla, crit or something. Come on. 49? No way. No way. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I think we're good, though, now. <laughs> oh, I am so trash. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> I needed a second. I needed a second. So uh, let's make sure that everything is going to work here. We can transfer Azura to you. Oh, I oh, really? So the stairs actually... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, I didn't account for this correctly at all. So the stairs actually don't take a point of movement, do they? No, just... Oh, shit. So that means Niles didn't have to be there at all. I could have I could have done this so much easier. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't I give Dude over? Because I needed to. I can still give Jacob, I guess. <sighs> this is not... This is not my best work, <laughs> honestly. Let me put this to bed right now. So you're telling me... Yeah, I made it with ease, didn't I? Yeah, so I didn't need to do that. So that means I could have actually gotten both treasures. I think. Um, I'll tell you what, we're going to finish this map now regardless. And if there was indeed a way for me to get both treasures, I I'm going to come back and look at this. I wasn't happy with that. And now I have way more information. We're still going to lunge, though, so that's fine. Switch. Okay, cool. Which means I overshot this by one tile, don't I? Yes, I do. Which means I could have gotten... I'm so sure I could have gotten the gold, too. Uh, I guess we can start the next part with showing how that would work. But I'm so sure that I could have. I really am. Oh, well, actually, if, if the stairs don't cost a move, I still think I'm in range, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't have to do anything. And the safest possible move is for me to rescue from here. Then, in that case, because... Uh, there's basically no chance of him, like, going down here or something like that. So this actually is much safer than I had even realized. 
Uh, and this right here is why he's not as good, by the way, because I can just boost Leo's attack through the roof. I could have boosted Elise's attack through the roof had I chose to. Um, See, so yeah, I can't agree with him being really all that bad. Not the best unit, to be sure. And I, I know why people might be put off by him, but I, don't, I actually don't think I covered that, but it's his personal ability. It's his personal ability that makes people kind of skeptical, and I understand why to an extent. However, why didn't I use Nyx? <laughs> why did I not raise Nyx? Is that what you're telling me? And she got strength again? That, that threw me off. What I was starting to say is his ability is Voice of Peace, or no, not Voice of Peace, excuse me, that's Azura's ability. Peace Bringer, though, is enemies and allies all deal minus two whenever this guy's around. And I assume that's why people don't like him, because it's allies as well, which is obviously a negative. There's very few situations where you would want to do less damage. Although, ironically, on this map, it would have helped me uh, with Camilla capturing Rally Man and all that, if I could have somehow worked that out. But the reason that this is not an issue is that why is he Zana <laughs> in the center of attention? You know what I mean? You don't have to put him in the center of attention. In fact, you shouldn't put him in the center of attention because as you guys, uh, as the people who have a problem with him point out, he does in fact debuff your own units. But just keep him the hell away. And he, and then like he has plus four magic to whoever you want and plus eight luck, which I think is actually straight up eight hit. Right, because Skillas at least have luck, which is my favorite in-joke in this series ever. <laughs> Anyways, I think Leo's about to put Takumi down. Yeah, oh my god, why is he, does he have Tone Breaker and I didn't, huh? Huh? Oh no, I didn't think this through. <laughs> I didn't think this through. How can we get Leo's hit higher? What? Does he have Nile? Why isn't my... <laughs> Where's my damn... <laughs> Heartseeker! You seriously mean to tell me if I attack him at range that I have 30... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. He really only has 18 skill, I guess. <sighs> really, Leo? Really, Leo? Wow. I know he's on a throne, so technically he's even 10 points dodgier, I guess, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna boost the crap out of Leo. We're gonna boost the hell out of Leo <laughs> on my replay. No doubt, because this will not go my way. I thought the Heart Seeker was better than that, I guess. <laughs> All allies of Nora deserve nothing but the cold embrace of death. Probably. Leo, Leo, my man. Oh! Oh! No way! <laughs> Leo! <laughs> no fucking way! That's bullshit! 56! Come on! This can't be how it ends. Oh, yes, it is. Oh! No way! Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> the inevitable result, he says. This couldn't have been any better. <laughs> okay, so if you're wondering how I would have made this not as bad, I actually am sitting on some secret books still. A luck potion as well would have bumped him up another good amount, and then I could have bought him a secret book, or not a secret book, but a, but a skill tonic. So we could have gotten that closer to like 70 times 2-ish, roughly. But <laughs> it's so much better that it happened like this. It really is. It really is. Sees. <laughs> yes. And it, by the way, I know 70 times two doesn't still sound that great, but keep in mind it is uh it is true hit. So 70 times two is more like 80 times two ish, roughly. Just my mental math tells me that. If you don't know what true it is, it's referring to the fact that the game doesn't choose just one number for your hit rate. It actually chooses multiple. Uh, so it, it works on a system of averages as opposed to just say pulling the number 74 I have 70 hits so I miss if that makes sense maybe it does maybe it doesn't I don't know I'm too hype right now dude that was something else <laughs> that was something else it's over. see that's why I'm glad I don't know the result of all of these maps because then it's like <laughs> you get situations like that man your battle is over Takumi the Norian army has seized control of the Great Wall of Susano 
Our remaining soldiers will be taken prisoner, and that includes you. <clears throat> Damn it, coward! I hope you rot in a pit of eternal torment for this! <sighs> My, what a rude fellow, and a bit <laughs> made you look like a chump! <laughs> This guy. Yeah, I'm glad that Leo's the one here doing the shit talking, because if anything, he deserves it. Oh my god. <laughs> my, what a rude fellow. You should be grateful we're even allowing you to live. You may be our prisoner, but we will not treat you cruelly. If you behave, we may even let you see your sister, Princess Sakura. What? What? You captured Sakura too? You monsters! Yeah. I know how you must be feeling, Takumi, but please calm yourself down. We must bind and imprison you before father arrives. Please just put out your hands and... Don't touch me! Don't you dare lay your filthy Norian hands on me! Uh, Takumi? You! I mean it! Don't come near me! If it wasn't for you, none of this awful things would have happened to Hoshido. No one would have had to die. We could have been a family. Why did you go back to Nor? Why? Tell me why! Why didn't you choose us? Your real family! Well, technically, Takumi, we've already covered this, but... Takumi... <laughs> Takumi, I'm not related to you. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This, this is actually kind of decent. I, I, I just don't get to talk to me. I really don't. I didn't forget that I meant to bring something up about that, by the way. <laughs> it's just, it's been a while, you know what I mean? Well, well. <laughs> don't you speak my name, traitor. I think this is actually fairly decent, though. I, I do. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters, not anymore. Huh? Talk to me. Why would you say that? The time is now. I will not be stopped. I can still save Hoshino, even without the Blade of Salvation. Yeah, now his voice is serious, I guess. You can't keep me prisoner, see? Don't you see? You shouldn't have left me that way. A way to escape. Takumi, your voice changed. <laughs> Did your balls drop finally? Shut up! <laughs> Takumi. Takumi, no! Takumi, please, no. No. This can't be happening. I won't let it. Takumi! <gasps> Me too! <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? <sighs> I'm going after him. He might still be alive. <gasps> no, it's too dangerous. The area isn't under Nor's control yet. Dude! Come on. <laughs> Use your brain. Maybe Takumi. we could have caught up to him had we flown down the wall. Just a thought. Takumi, where are you? He's not here, but how? He must have fallen somewhere nearby. Wait. Wait, dude, you can't go that way. Hoshiden soldiers might still be afoot. Azura. Azura, what do I do? I can't find Takumi anywhere. What's that? What? Listen. We saw him fall. He fell down this very wall. But he's not down here. Oh my. Oh my, how could that be? <laughs> That's simply not possible. Well, clearly, Azura. After falling that far, it would be a miracle for him to be alive, much less still mobile. Uh, then where is he? I don't know. I... I don't know. Perhaps somebody removed his body. There must be an explanation. Listen. I'm sorry, but we don't have time to figure this out right now. We need to get back to our troops. I agree, actually. If we don't have the wall under control when King Garon's forces arrive, there's no telling how many innocent lives will be lost. Damn it, you're right. Understood. Okay, let's go. Well... We must hurry, dude. There's no time to lose. Takumi. Where are you? Where indeed? Well, I mean, we've already put him down four times, so surely he gets the point. I assure you, he must. Uh, that said, that was lucky. <laughs> There's no denying that. Uh, however... Uh, nah, I got nothing, man. <laughs> Call it a low turn count if you must, I guess. <laughs> Still, 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 still. I We could have gotten that better. We could have made that better for sure. And if I really, really start hurting for it, I could have even went to get Ophelia, make lightning that much better. I, I know it's only an accuracy rate of two, but again, if, I, if it would have said 70 times two, I think that would have been fair, honestly. But 56, god damn, Takumi. So he is not playing around, clearly. And had I realized that, I would have taken him a little bit more seriously, honestly. But all that said, that is gonna do it for me. So I, I really don't dislike the story on that map. Truthfully, I again it suffers the same problem where if you're not interested in the story still, it's like why bother? It really is. But I, I honestly 
Honestly, that was fine. I, I have nothing to complain about, really. Everything seemed logical enough. Uh, so there's like one of two things that could be going on with Takumi, I guess. And either one, it makes sense. So, mm. See, I don't want to just rip on the game for the sake of ripping on it. You know, that that's just too easy. I mean, obviously I could do it, but I, I genuinely think I've been fair. I genuinely think I have been fair. Anyways, <laughs> that will do it for me. Thank you all for watching. Oh, actually, <laughs> one more thing. So I've been working on, like, an actual video, like a real scripted proper video. So that's kind of why <laughs> the uploads for this week have been a little bit lackluster. I, I, I did post something on the channel about that. I don't even know if people can see that or not, or if it does uh, anything to inform you guys, but I do listen to your criticism, I do listen to your feedback, and I'm trying to be a little bit more clear about what, what's going on and whatnot. Uh, so, in the future, if there's any kind of weird delays or anything, I'll probably just post it on the channel discussion page and then delete it when it is no longer relevant. Uh, but if you did see that and you are listening to this, at least let me know so that way I have some idea of whether or not it does anything at all. Yeah, I think that's all I need to say though. So I will get you guys next time. See you then. Peace.